Hey there guys, this is Richard, your host with another Marvelous video. Welcome back to Marvelous Gamers, your go-to destination for all things gaming. Today, we're diving into the digital world of high stakes and higher heart rates with our latest video, Top 25 Hardest Games of PlayStation 4 Explored. Are you ready to challenge yourself and push your gaming skills to the limit? From the precision and patience required in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice to the relentless difficulty of Dark Souls 3, we've scoured the PlayStation 4 library to bring you the most punishing yet exhilarating games out there. Whether you're a fan of the strategic nightmares in XCOM, 2 or the brutal landscapes of Bloodborne. This list has something to test every type of gamer. So grab your controller and let's get on this journey through the toughest terrains gaming has to offer. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice 2019 Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is not just a game, it's an epic journey that throws you into the heart of a mystical war-torn Japan. You are Wolf, the one-armed shinobi, out for revenge and to protect your lord. Now let's talk gameplay, it's where Sekiro really shines. This is not your run-of-the-mill hack and slash, every fight feels like a high-stakes duel where timing and strategy are key. You've got to read your enemy, strike with precision and use your unique tools, like the grappling hook, to gain the upper hand. It's tough, sure, but when you finally take down that boss you've been struggling with, <laughs> the feeling is unbeatable. Every enemy, especially the bosses, requires a unique strategy. You've got to study their moves, time your blocks and strikes perfectly, and know when to be aggressive and when to hang back. These factors do make the game seem notoriously harder for players. And the story? Well, it's deep, rich and full of twists. Rooted in Buddhist mythology, it's not just the backdrop, it's the soul of the game. Sekiro's world is one you'll want to dive into, explore every corner and really live in. Bottom line? This one's a masterpiece that challenges your skills and pulls you into an unforgettable story. It's not just a game, it's an experience. Dark Souls 3 2016 Dark Souls 3 wraps up the iconic series with a journey that's as narratively rich as it is challenging. Set in the decaying kingdom of Lothric, the game weaves a complex tale of fallen lords, fading flames, and a world teetering on the brink of the Age of Dark. Tasked with the monumental duty of returning the rebellious lords of Cinder to their thrones to prolong the Age of Fire, this backdrop sets the stage for a game that's not just about combat, but also about exploring a world filled with deep lore and dark secrets. The difficulty of this game is legendary, demanding precision, patience, and resilience from players. Each enemy is a puzzle to solve, with patterns to learn and weaknesses to exploit. Boss battles are epic tests of skill and strategy, often requiring multiple attempts to conquer. This relentless challenge is what makes every victory in this game feel earned and satisfying. In essence, Dark Souls 3 is a masterful blend of intricate storytelling and punishing gameplay. It's a game that doesn't just challenge your reflexes, but also immerses you in a deeply layered world. This final chapter in the Dark Souls saga is a hauntingly beautiful, relentlessly challenging experience that tests your skills and captivates your imagination in equal measure. Elden Ring 2022 Elden Ring is not just about wandering around and fighting tough enemies. There's a whole saga unfolding here. You're in the lands between, right? Well, this place used to be under the rule of Queen Marika, the keeper of the Elden Ring. But then everything went south when she shattered the ring, leading to this massive event called the Shattering. Now her demigod children are all duking it out for power, each corrupted by pieces of the ring. You play as the Tarnished called back to the lands between after being exiled. Your mission? To fix the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. It's a journey filled with twists and turns. You'll meet Melina, who becomes your guide, and you'll travel across this vast land, taking on these corrupted demigods to collect the great runes. The story gets deeper as you decide how to approach the burning of the Erd Tree, leading to different endings based on your choices. Every choice you make, every boss you defeat, it all adds to the story. The game's challenging gameplay hinges on its complex combat system, demanding strategic and precise play, and a deep understanding of unique enemy behaviors and attack patterns. Resource management is crucial, with limited health and magic points and high stakes for dying, as it results in losing runes. The game also offers minimal guidance, leaving players to independently navigate, uncover secrets, and devise strategies to overcome difficult adversaries. Regardless, the Elden Ring is a journey, <laughs> and what a journey it is. Cuphead 2017 Cuphead by Studio MDHR Got a plot that's as quirky as its gameplay. Picture this. Cuphead and his bro Mugman, eh, they're in deep trouble after losing a bet with the devil. Now they're hopping across Inkwell Isles, collecting soul contracts from all sorts of odd characters. It's not just about beating the baddies, it's about the choices they make along the way, with some pretty wild endings based on what they decide. Gameplay-wise, it's a crazy mix of run-and-gun action and epic boss battles. You're dodging, shooting, and strategizing your way through levels that look like they're straight out of a 19th 
1930s cartoon. And the jazz tunes, <laughs> absolutely spot on. But here's the deal. Cuphead is tough. Those boss battles, they demand spot on timing and a whole lot of patience. You've got to learn each boss's moves and figure out how to outsmart them, which is no walk in the park. So, wrapping it up, is this a wild ride of a game? It's tough, it's charming, and it's got style like no other. If you're up for a game that tests your skills and keeps you on your toes, well, this is it. It's a blast from the past with a modern twist that you just can't miss. Bloodborne 2015. In Bloodborne, you're a hunter in the gothic city of Yharnam, plagued by a mysterious bloodborne disease that turns residents into beasts. Your mission is to unravel the city's secrets and find the plague source, battling beasts and cosmic beings along the way. The game plays third person, focusing on weapons-based combat and exploration. You'll customize your hunter, choose weapons and abilities, and navigate Yharnam's interconnected world. Strategic combat, item usage, and interactions with characters are key. Why is it so tough, you might wonder? Well, fast-paced combat demands an offensive approach, with a unique rally system for health recovery after taking damage. The interconnected world design, dense enemy hordes, and risk and reward gameplay make it quite a challenging experience. But overall, Bloodborne is a masterful blend of intense combat, haunting atmosphere, and intricate world design. It offers a difficult yet deeply rewarding experience in a richly crafted gothic world. Neo 2017. In Neo, you play William Adams, an Irish sailor inspired by a historical figure who became a samurai in Japan. Set in the year 1600, the game weaves a fictional tale around William's pursuit of the sorcerer Edward Kelly during the Sengoku period. Amidst war and chaos, supernatural yokai emerged complicating Tokugawa Ieyasu's efforts to unify Japan. The gameplay in Neo is action-packed, focusing on stamina management and various sword stances effective against different enemies. Players navigate levels, battling monsters and yokai, using a mix of weapons and chi stamina management. The game's levels are self-contained, offering alternate routes and are selected from a menu rather than an open world. Neo is considered difficult due to its fast-paced combat requiring strategic thinking and precise chi management. The diverse range of enemies, each with unique attack patterns, adds to the difficulty demanding ability and skill from players. This game masterfully offers a challenging yet deeply engaging samurai journey through a war-torn, supernatural-infested Japan. Super Meat Boy 2010 Developed by Team Meat, a collaboration between Edmund McMillan and Tommy Refens, Super Meat Boy is a brutally challenging yet addictive platformer that combines simple, engaging gameplay with a quirky plot. In this game, players control Meat Boy, a red cube-shaped character on a mission to rescue his girlfriend, Bandage Girl, from the evil Dr. Fetus. Set across over 300 levels, the gameplay is a test of precision and timing, involving running, jumping, and avoiding a myriad of deadly obstacles. The game's difficulty stems from its need for fine control and split seconds and decision making. Each level is packed with hazards like saw blades and crumbling blocks, demanding perfect timing and quick reflexes. The unlimited attempts per level mean constant retries, with Meat Boy's meat juice marking each failed attempt. In one line, this game is making the gameplay a frustratingly fun experience that's hard to put down. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection 2021 Ninja Gaiden Master Collection is a remastered edition of the modern Ninja Gaiden trilogy, released for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Windows, and Nintendo Switch in 2021. This collection includes Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, along with most of the original game modes and DLC costumes. The trilogy follows the story of Ryu Hayabusa, a super ninja, as he combats fiends wreaking havoc worldwide. The game is known for its high-speed action, requiring a blend of defensive and offensive moves similar to to other fighting games. Players can control not only Ryu Hayabusa, but also additional characters like Ayane, Rachel, Momiji, and Kasumi, each with their unique fighting styles. The games are renowned for their difficulty, featuring intense, fast-paced battles that demand precise control and quick reflexes. The challenging enemies and complex combat mechanics make for a demanding yet rewarding experience. It revives the classic high-octane ninja action with polished graphics and gameplay, offering both fans and newcomers a thrilling, albeit challenging, journey through Ryu Hayabusa's deadly adventures.
Alien Isolation 2014. So, this game throws you into the shoes of Amanda Ripley, Ellen Ripley's daughter, and it's set 15 years after the original Alien movie. Amanda's on a mission to find out what happened to her mum, and she ends up on the Sevastopol space station. But here's the twist. There's an alien on board causing all sorts of chaos. The gameplay? Well, it's all about stealth and survival horror. You're sneaking around, using gadgets like a motion tracker and a flamethrower to stay one step ahead of the alien. It's played from a first-person view, which really cranks up the tension. Now, why is it so tough? <laughs> that alien is relentless. It can't be beaten in a fight, so you've got to be sneaky, smart, and super quick on your feet. Plus, resources are scarce, and you've got to make every move count. But overall, the creepy vibe of the original film delivers a spine-chilling survival experience that's both true to the alien legacy and an absolute blast for horror game fans. Dead Cells 2018. Now, let's talk about a game that's all about taking on the role of this blob-like prisoner. Yep, we're talking about Dead Cells. In this game, your mission is to escape a creepy island and take down the king. This game is a wild mix of roguelike and metroidvania styles, where every level you play is different thanks to the procedural generation. Now, here's the kicker. Dead Cells is tough. You've got permadeath, so every time you die, you're losing all your cool gear and starting from scratch. It's all about learning the levels, mastering combat, and getting a bit better each time you you play. Plus, you're collecting the cells from enemies to score permanent upgrades, which is super satisfying. So, to sum it up, this game is an awesome mix of difficult yet engaging gameplay and constant discovery. It's perfect for those who love a game that keeps you high on adrenaline and rewards your persistence with some seriously cool moments. Definitely a must try for anyone who loves a good challenge. Neo 2. Neo 2, developed by Team Ninja, is an action role-playing game for the PlayStation 4. It's both a prequel and sequel to the original Neo, set in Japan during the late 1500s. Players step into the shoes of Hyde, a half-yokai warrior, navigating through the Sengoku era. Hyde's journey intertwines with historical figures and mythical entities, culminating in a quest to confront the main antagonist, Kashin Koji, and the powerful yokai, Otake Maru. Gameplay involves creating your character and battling through levels with a variety of weapons like Odachi and Kusari Gama. A unique feature is the collection of soul cores from defeated yokai, granting players special abilities. The game also offers a cooperative multiplayer mode. This game ramps up its difficulty significantly after the initial stages, contributing to its challenging nature. The enemies, particularly the yokai, are exceptionally tough, often capable of defeating the player's character in just a few hits. This high damage output from enemies makes every encounter potentially lethal, requiring precise and cautious gameplay. Moreover, the game's difficulty curve steepens dramatically after the first few bosses, making solo progression increasingly tough. This spike in challenge can lead to frustration, as even regular NPCs deal substantial damage, leaving little room for error. As a result, players may find themselves needing to summon help for each boss fight, a stark contrast to earlier levels where gradual learning and practice led to solo victories. Despite this, Neo 2 brilliantly expands on its predecessor with a rich blend of Japanese history and mythology, offering a deeply engaging and challenging experience that's both rewarding and thrilling for action RPG fans. Monster Hunter World Iceborne 2018. This expansion pack by Capcom really amps up the 2018 game Monster Hunter World. It's set in a frosty place called Hoarfrost Reach, and adds a bunch of new monsters, a cool story, and some sweet gameplay upgrades. You're still playing as a hunter, but now you're exploring this icy region, dealing with the cold and facing off against tougher creatures. Gameplay-wise, you've got new weapons, moves, and the clutch claw gadget for grappling onto monsters. Plus, there's this new master rank, which means even tougher enemies, but better loot. Now, why is it hard? Well, the new monsters are no joke. They're tougher, smarter, and the cold environment means you have to keep warm or your stamina takes a hit. Snow also slows you down, making fights even more challenging. The players reviewed that the game takes everything great about the original and cranks it up with more challenges, more monsters, and an icy new world. This is both beautiful and brutal. To sum it up, the game is a chilly blast for hunters looking for a real test. XCOM 2. In XCOM 2, you're the commander of XCOM, a resistance force against alien occupation on Earth. The game kicks off with a raid to rescue you, the commander, from Advent's clutches. You're then thrown into a world where you need to unite resistance groups and uncover the truth behind Advent's Avatar project, which is turning humans into avatars for the alien elders. Gameplay-wise, it's a top-down, turn-based tactics game. You're commanding a squad of soldiers, taking on aliens and completing objectives. The maps are randomly generated, adding variety to each playthrough. There's also an Iron Man mode, where every decision is final, ramping up the stakes. The game is difficult because the enemies are tough to deal with, and you've got to be strategic with every move. Plus, many missions are timed, so you're always racing against the clock. The permadeath of squad members adds an emotional weight, making every loss hit hard. It's a roller coaster of high stakes and tough choices, where every decision can mean victory or defeat.
Enter the Gungeon 2016. Enter the Gungeon is a 2016 bullet hell roguelike developed by Dodge Row. Set in the Gungeon, a dungeon filled with guns and bullet shaped enemies, players control one of four Gungeoneers on a quest to find a gun that can kill the past. Each Gungeoneer starts with unique items and weapons but can collect a wild array of firearms ranging from conventional to bizarre. The game features procedurally generated levels, intense boss fights and a permadeath system, meaning <laughs> when you die, you start over from scratch. The game's difficulty comes from its bullet hell nature, requiring players to dodge a barrage of bullets while memorizing enemy patterns. The permadeath system adds to the challenge, as each death means losing all progress and starting anew. The variety of enemies and bosses, each with unique attack patterns, requires quick reflexes and strategic thinking. But despite that, the game successfully combines chaotic gunplay with quirky humor in a roguelike adventure, making each run a thrilling, unpredictable dive into bullet-riddled madness. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus 2017 Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus is a 2017 action-adventure and first-person shooter developed by Machine Games. You're back as William B.J. Blazkowicz, fighting against the Nazi regime in an alternate 1961 America. The game continues from the New Order, with B.J. leading the charge to ignite a revolution. Gameplay is similar to its predecessor, but with enhancements like dual-wielding any weapon combo and a choice that alters the storyline. The game's difficulty stems from its intense combat and smart enemy AI. You're up against a wide array of Nazi soldiers and machinery, each requiring different strategies to defeat. Stealth is an option, but when things go loud, you better be ready for a tough fight. The game's narrative and choice system also means you've got to think about your actions and their consequences. To sum it up, this one is a thrilling, narrative-driven shooter that packs a punch with its challenging gameplay and a compelling story of resistance and revolution. Devil May Cry 5 2019. Devil May Cry 5 is set five years post Devil May Cry 4, featuring Dante, Nero, and new protagonist V battling the Demon King Urizen in Redgrave City. They confront their intertwined pasts and demonic forces, seeking to prevent Urizen from merging the human and demon worlds, culminating in a climactic showdown. Each character has unique combat styles and grows stronger throughout the story, which also unravels V's mysterious connection to Urizen. Gameplay is fast-paced, focusing on stylish action. Players combat hordes of demons with a variety of attacks and weapons, earning style ratings based on their performance. The game's challenge lies in mastering each character's distinct fighting style and the vast array of weapons, all while managing resources and adapting to enemy patterns. The difficulty spikes, especially in higher modes, demanding precise skills and quick reflexes. The game dazzles with its intense stylish action and deep engaging combat system, offering a thrilling yet challenging demon-slaying adventure. Darkest Dungeon 2016 2016 Developed by Red Hook Studios, Darkest Dungeon players inherit a gothic estate plagued by unearthly creatures due to the reckless actions of their ancestor. The game, released across various platforms, involves managing a roster of heroes to explore dungeons beneath the manor. The gameplay is a mix of real-time movement and turn-based combat, where each hero's stress level is crucial, affecting their performance with potential afflictions or enhancements. Players navigate procedurally generated dungeons, facing turn-based combat against monstrous inhabitants. The affliction system is central to the gameplay, with stress impacting heroes' behavior, potentially leading to heart attacks or erratic actions. Managing stress, along with strategic combat and exploration, is vital. The game's difficulty stems from its permadeath feature, where heroes lost in dungeons are gone forever, and the unpredictable nature of procedurally generated challenges. Stress management adds another layer of complexity, making each expedition a careful balance of risk and reward. The game is lauded for its difficult gameplay and dark, immersive atmosphere, offering a brutally satisfying experience that tests players' management and strategic skills. It's a grim but compelling journey into madness and heroism. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth 2014 Developed by Nicarlis and designed by Edmund McMillan, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth is a remake of the original game, enhanced with a more advanced engine and substantial additional content. Inspired by McMillan's religious upbringing, the plot follows Isaac, a boy fleeing from his mother who believes she must sacrifice him to prove her faith. Isaac escapes into a monster-infested basement, facing grotesque creatures and uncovering dark secrets. In this top-down 2D roguelike, players control Isaac or other unlockable characters, navigating through randomly generated dungeons. Combat involves shooting tears at enemies, with a vast array of items and weapons affecting gameplay and strategy. The game's permadeath system and procedurally generated levels make each run unique but challenging, as death means starting from scratch with different item setups and dungeon layouts. The game's difficulty lies in its unpredictability and the necessity to master dodging and item synergies. Players must adapt to new situations each run, making strategic decisions with potentially permanent consequences. The game is critically acclaimed roguelike that combines dark themes with challenging playable gameplay, making it a compelling and often unforgiving experience. Control 
Control 2019. Control is a 2019 action-adventure game by Remedy Entertainment, where players explore the Federal Bureau of Control, FBC, as Jesse Faden, the new director, fighting the Hiss invasion. The oldest house, FBC's headquarters, is a shifting place with paranormal threats and objects of power that grant Jesse abilities. The game's Metroidvania style allows non-linear exploration, with combat involving a mix of supernatural powers and the transformable service weapon. The game is considered tough due to its complex environment, the unpredictable nature of the Hiss enemies, and the necessity to master a variety of abilities and strategies to progress. The AI Encounter Director ensures varied and challenging enemy encounters throughout the oldest house. Upon release, this game was highly praised for its intriguing storyline, unique setting, and engaging gameplay, becoming a favourite for its artistic design and narrative. It's a mind-bending journey into a world where reality is just another variable. Remnant from the Ashes 2019 Remnant from the Ashes tosses you into a world where Earth's seen better days. Hmm, way better days. This is not your typical stroll through the park. It's a post-apocalyptic playground where the route, a bunch of interdimensional party crashes, have taken over. Your mission? Hmm, show them the door and lock it tight. Imagine gearing up with guns and melee weapons that you can tweak and upgrade to your heart's content. You're not just shooting and slashing. You're strategizing every move in third-person combat that's as thrilling as a roller coaster ride with no brakes. Create your character and dive into worlds that keep you on your toes with their ever-changing landscapes and inhabitants. But here's the kicker. This game is tough. Like, really, really tough. Inspired by the likes of Dark Souls, every enemy encounter is a dance with danger, and when you're full, it's back to the last checkpoint with a fresh set of challenges. No two runs are the same, keeping you guessing and adapting like a survival pro. Team up with a couple of pals or brave it solo. Either way, Remnant from the Ashes presents you with a wild ride through hauntingly beautiful worlds, demanding your A-game at every turn. <laughs> Ready to take back Earth and kick some root button. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Remake Hard Mode Final Fantasy VII Remake is a thrilling action role-playing game developed by Square Enix, released for the PlayStation 4 in 2020, with enhanced versions for PlayStation 5 and Windows in 2021. It's the first in a planned trilogy, remaking the iconic 1997 PlayStation game. Set in the dystopian cyberpunk city of Midgar, you control Cloud Strife, a mercenary who joins the eco-terrorist group Avalanche. Their mission is to stop the Shinra Corporation from exploiting the planet's life essence as an energy source. The game beautifully blends real-time action with strategic role-playing elements, offering a fresh take on the classic. Gameplay involves exploration and intense combat, featuring an altered active time battle system, ATB. You'll manage a party of characters, each with unique skills, and engage in battles where you can switch between them, unleashing powerful attacks and spells. The game's hard mode, unlocked after completing the story, offers a brutal challenge. In this mode, items can't be used, enemies are tougher, and resting spots don't restore HP or MP, demanding perfect strategy and mastery of the game's mechanics. So, what adds to the difficulty? The hard Hard mode in the game ramps up the toughness significantly. You can't use items, <coughs> which means no easy heals or revives. Enemies hit harder and have more health, making each encounter a potential disaster. Resting spots don't fully restore you, so every bit of damage you take carries more weight. This mode requires a deep understanding of the game's combat system, perfect timing and strategic use of each character's abilities. But overall, I must play to keep you on the edge of your toes. Sundered 2017. The Eldritch Chaos of Sundered is another tough masterpiece crafted by the creative minds at Thunder Lotus Games. Born from a blend of hand-drawn art and Lovecraftian horror, this game's development journey transformed it into a Metroidvania marvel that keeps you on your toes with its ever-changing world. In the heart of this madness is Esh, a lone wanderer who stumbles upon ruins that plunge her into a realm of darkness. Here, she's caught between the remnants of a war between the mystical Eshetan and the high-tech Valkyries. With the shining trapeze head run by her side, she navigates through shifting caves, battling remnants of a world torn asunder. Gameplay of the game is a thrilling roller coaster. You'll leap, dash, and slash your way through a world that never stays the same thanks to procedural generation. Shrines offer new powers, while enemy hordes spawn unpredictably, ensuring no two journeys are alike. Death reshuffles your path, making each return a fresh descent into chaos. But beware, the difficulty is as relentless as the hordes you face. Random enemy swarms and demanding combat can lead to unexpected and often frustrating deaths. The true test comes from deciding the fate of Elder Shards. Power up and lose your humanity, or destroy them and retain your essence. In a nutshell, the game is beautifully twisted with a symphony of horror and action, and if you're a fan of challenges, well, this one's definitely for you.
The Witness, 2016. The Witness is a puzzle game that's as intriguing as it is beautiful. Dreamed up by Jonathan Blow, the mastermind behind Braid, this game was a labor of love and obsession. Post Braid's success, Blow gathered a dream team, diving deep into development. They crafted their own engine and collaborated with top-notch artists and architects to create an island that's a feast for the eyes and the mind. You wake up on this mysterious island with no memory, no map, and a world of puzzles waiting for you. Each region of the island has its own flavor of brain teasers, all silently teaching you their rules as you go. It's like learning a new language, one line and dot at a time. The Witness is notoriously difficult because it demands a unique blend of patience, observation and critical thinking. The game provides no direct instructions or overt tutorials. Instead, players must decipher the rules of each puzzle through experimentation and keen observation of the environment. This means you're often left to your own devices to understand complex patterns and rules that become increasingly intricate as you progress. One more thing is, uh, while you're free to explore and tackle different areas in your own order, this non-linearity means you might stumble into puzzles that assume knowledge or insights gained from other unexplored parts of the island. This can lead to moments of frustration and confusion. The game's difficulty is further amplified by its design to challenge the player's perception and assumptions, often requiring out-of-the-box thinking to solve puzzles that might initially seem impossible. The satisfaction of solving these puzzles is immense, but the journey to those solutions is a rigorous mental workout that not all players might enjoy or persevere through. Surgeon Simulator 2013 In Surgeon Simulator, you step into the scrubs of Nigel Burke, a would-be surgeon with a knack for the unconventional, operating in a 1987 fictional UK hospital. Initially developed in just 48 hours, this game quickly scalloped its way into the hearts of players with its dark humour and challenging gameplay. The game is a first-person surgery challenge where you control Nigel's hand with your mouse and keyboard, clumsily grasping surgical tools to perform life-saving operations on patient Bob, and later, in space and on an alien. The controls are intentionally difficult with each finger operated individually, making even picking up a scalpel feel like a major victory. Why is it so hard, you ask? Well, imagine playing Operation, but your hand is a five-ton crane with a mind of its own. <laughs> the game's physics are hilariously unpredictable, turning each surgery into a chaotic juggle of flying organs and rogue scalpels. Add in scenarios like operating in a moving ambulance or the zero gravity of space, and you've got a recipe for mayhem. The game is a hilariously chaotic dance of life and death, where every surgery is a heart-pounding and sometimes heart-throwing adventure. I guess that means I'll have to kill you. Huh? Crash Bandicoot 4 2020 Developed by Toys for Bob and released by Activision, Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, is a vibrant leap from its predecessors, crafted with a direct narrative and gameplay continuation from the original trilogy. The development team introduced Quantum Masks to infuse fresh mechanics into the beloved platforming saga. In this multiversal escapade, Crash and Coco band together to thwart Doctor's neocortex and nefarious tropes plan to dominate every dimension. With Quantum Masks enhancing their abilities, they navigate through ten diverse dimensions, each presenting unique challenges and enemies. The game plays a thrilling blend of classic and innovative elements, offering modern and retro modes to suit different playstyles. However, its difficulty spikes, especially in retro mode, where lives are limited and precision is paramount and can be quite the challenge even for seasoned players. But regardless, it's a delightful yet challenging revival, blending nostalgic gameplay with fresh innovative twists that will test the skills of players across all dimensions. Marvelous Verdict. And there you have it, fellow gamers, the top 25 hardest games of PlayStation 4 that have left us thrilled, frustrated, and overwhelmingly satisfied. From the intricate dance of death in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, to the maddening mazes of The Witness, these titles are not for the faint of heart. Whether you've conquered these challenges or are gearing up to take them on, we salute your courage and determination. Remember, in the world of gaming, every defeat is a lesson, and every victory is a story worth telling. Until next time, keep those reflexes sharp and your will unbreakable, because, uh, as every gamer knows, the hardest battles often lead to the greatest triumphs.